Guys, this is Kat Lockler. So this is video step number one. So you have decided that you are going to homeschool your kids. Well, I wanted to show you, if you were a first time homeschooling parent, the very first steps. This is video number one on what to do. Um, I remember when I decided to homeschool my kids, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm like, okay, what do I need to do first? What are the simple first steps? Well, let me recommend that if you're going to do it, get a planner. A good size large planner not a small one um, but one with a, a calendar in here but not just a calendar but uh, I'll show you the days a whole section where you can write some information um, which is going to be Monday at least through Friday that'll be so helpful for you now really you can be as organized or disorganized as you want but I have three kids at three different levels so organization for me um, is very very key uh, if they're going to progress this year the way I'm hoping that they will I need to kind of be uh, pre-planning their events so we don't just wing it yes our first year of doing this there was a lot of winging it um, and we did okay but I know there's much much better ways to do it <laughs> many many um, different tools that I've learned from other parents but I'm going to show you the very first steps and then I'll do multiple videos a few more about what comes next um, so you have to get yourself a planner a good planner one that starts in July and goes all the way to the summer of the following year uh, you will want to re uh, recognize or decide what as a parent, as the homeschooling teacher, uh, if you are a full-time worker and you're going to do this, it's possible. Um, if you and your spouse are going to do that, that's kind of how my husband and I do it. Uh, he works at the fire station for several days a week. I work at the hospital certain nights of the week. So we, uh, and this is why it's so beautiful to have this all pre-planned. The days that I do the schooling, I already have everything mapped out. And when I go to work and I need to rest the following day, he already has everything laid out. Um, so you can do 12 week terms, like for, for, we're gonna do a fall and a spring for this year, which is typical, but I'm gonna do 12 weeks for the fall and I'm going to do 12 weeks for the spring. So I have to look over my calendar, decide when our start date is, which for us, it'll be the first week in September. We usually do the last week in August, but since I'm going to school, um, I'm saving that week for my first step into school. But I'll have everything for them prepared starting tomorrow is when I'm really gonna be um, prepping their books and everything. So. I have decided again for the fifth time, I think this is our year number five for homeschooling, um, that we'll stick with that 12 week term, 12 weeks for fall, 12 weeks for uh, spring. And um, I'm hoping to get all their books condensed where we have half of it will be in the first portion, half will be in the other. Kind of obvious, I know, but I'm just gonna try to help you break it down. Again, you pick 12 weeks, 15 weeks, whatever works for your family. If you can only do uh, if you can't do Monday through Friday, not everybody can, but you can still be a successful homeschooling parent. Your student will still learn a great deal. You just have to decide what kind of environment and time um, that you have to do this and try to make it consistent. Even if it's three days a week, even if it's just in the mornings, try to make those because consistency is a very powerful tool with our children and it helps them learn when they wake up and they know we're going to wake up, do our breakfast, go right out and have a little bit of organized time every day. It helps them to jump right into it. Um, my kids know in the morning they have their chores to do, they get their breakfast, we get ourselves ready to go out to the classroom, and then they already know it's pledge time, it's prayer time, and then math would be following shortly after that. So it's nice for them to feel comfortable in a, in a form of routine. Um, so also you pick your week. So fall, we got 12 weeks. We have certain times during the fall that we will be going on vacation. So go ahead and get those highly marked on your books so that week 11 or week 10 doesn't fall on a family vacation. Make sure that's already blueprinted into your calendar. Um, we have several things going on in October um, and we 
have birthdays and holy days that we we celebrate. So we have to make sure that that is already integrated into our plan. So mark those big days that you will not be able to do school out ahead of time. And then go ahead and start doing in the calendar week one, which will be first week of September for us, and just do week one, week two, week three, all the way down to week 12. Um, and again, you don't have to jump to the spring on your calendar unless you want to, go right ahead. Uh, but it is good to go ahead and lay the foundations of the amount of time um, and what weeks are what. Sometimes things don't work out, things unexpectedly come up, but it still keeps you as the homeschooling parent um, uh, to some form of schedule. So you're like, oh my goodness, we're falling a little behind, guys. Let's push it. Or, hey, we should probably take another week on this. And you can make adjustments. It's totally awesome. That's the beauty of homeschooling. There's a lot of flexibility, but really, you don't want to just wing it because it'll really be beneficial and decrease your stress in the classroom to know, oh, on the agenda, this is what we're doing next, guys. So let's finish up this and let's start on that. Um, so that is step number one, and I'll make another video, uh, step number two, that kind of breaks down um, the next thing after preparing your calendar. Um, I hope you find this helpful. If you have questions, please write them below. Uh, this will be on my Facebook page, but it'll also be on my YouTube page, and there will be a link at the bottom, okay? Y'all have a good night, and I'm going to sleep. Bye.